Good morning. It's Thursday, March 30th, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Age of Offense, and our scripture is Proverbs chapter 23. Don't fail to discipline your children. The rod of punishment won't kill them. We live in an age of offense. It's been legitimized to take offense at any words or actions of another person or group, particularly those who don't share your opinion. Mass shootings in schools are prima facie evidence of just how far the age of offense has deepened into human culture in the 21st century. Nothing seems off the table when it comes to retaliating for supposed offenses. Monday's shooting at a Christian school in Nashville marked the 89th shooting in an American K-12 school in the three months of this year. That's more than one a day, which puts us on pace for 378 shootings this year, far surpassing last year's record 303. The chart shows in the last 11 years, 2012 through 23, annual mass K through 12 shootings have increased by more than 15 fold from 20 to 300 per year. While I was writing the above words, I received a text from my daughter in Florida asking for prayer for her boys, both in the same high school on lockdown because of guns on campus. It's been an anxious 30 minutes, but the school is closed now and the boys are on the way home. These events torture the hearts and minds of the families and communities involved, as well as the understanding of all who just want to live in peace. The questions flow. Why this? Where did it come from? How do we stop it? With those questions flooding my mind, I believe this deserves a wide open conversation not just in Washington over the weapon issues, or new laws, or even having armed guards, or, heaven forbid, arming teachers. I believe we need to openly discuss what has been too much backburner for the churches. I'm acquainted with some ministers who never address marriage and family issues from the pulpit, as they are, quote-unquote, too controversial. That must end. What good is gathering each week for just a rehash of the wonderful love of God, but never applying that love by helping families grow to be stronger disciples? Strong disciples of Jesus make excellent parents. Excellent parents are not afraid to set boundaries that keep their kids safe and sane. Kids that grow up with loving parents who are biblically based, lavishing genuine love on tender-aged children, read that, unselfishly doing the best for their children, become well-balanced kids who grow up to be loving and unselfish, not taking offense at every little thing. Now, please don't get the idea that I'm proposing a one-size-fits-all model of parenting that's guaranteed to turn kids out like you want them. I'm talking about the direction parenting must take to lead children to the way God wants for them. Over the next several days, we'll talk about the home and how God expects us to raise and discipline our children as God has instructed. Anyone can disagree with me on this. I don't claim to be a prophet or have all the answers. What I do claim is that God's Word does. For you today... If you doubt the Word of God has a better way than what has been taught in schools and in the violent, perverted, media-driven social engineering of the last several decades, stay tuned. You ain't seen nothing yet. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.